So what I'm preparing right now is uh, a dish that is uh, seared yellowfin tuna. And this is a tuna that is caught uh, locally. You know, the waters in Southern California in the past year have been just really uh, blessed to be able to receive um, schools of yellowfin tuna, and which usually are caught way down south more, but we've had a, a, the blessing of be able to have a few years of uh, fresh yellowfin tuna being caught locally. And uh, this tuna was caught in uh, Southern California in, in off of San Diego, um, near the Coronado Islands, which is islands uh, right within the Mexican border. And so I'm just gonna prepare this fish up uh, uh, in this seared way. And uh, I'm gonna be using uh, is some blackening seasoning. I'll show you that right now. So this is the Zatarans blackened seasoning. Oh, well, you can just shake on the flavor. Just shake it on. So you can see here where I've already put if, uh, put the olive oil. You know, I, I lathered the fillets, the slices of tuna. I lathered it with the olive oil and then I seasoned it with the blackened seasoning from Zatarans. Also put some crushed pepper on there too. So it's been sitting here for a little while. It's at room temperature now, ready to get it, uh, uh, lay it down and uh, sizzle it. Uh, sear it on that hot pan which we'll be going into next so get ready for the fire and the oil you know oil, olive oil is good it's good for you and it reminds me of the oil of the, that comes from the Spirit of God the olive oil of God you know, God's full of oil he loves olive trees it reminds me of the scripture where he's there was two olive trees and from these olive trees there were pipes that went down into the candlestick and golden oil just olive oil just flowed in into the candlestick creating that illuminating light you know we got to get into the oil of god we got to get into that that olive oil of god that freshly uh, golden fresh olive oil let it just fill us and let the fire of god sear his heart and his nature and his love into us just like i'm about to sear this uh, yellowfin tuna and this golden uh, olive oil see as you can see we're over here at the pan right now that it is piping hot you can see the oil is moving this is like searing hot oil and we want that searing hot oil the oil that burns that oil that burns the flesh because we want the flesh to get burnt the fire and the hot oil so friends this is a really uh, hot process right here we got to be very careful in this process um, you know this this will burn the human flesh as well, which is a good thing when it comes to spiritual things. The flesh get, gets burned up in the fire. <laughs> so here we go, ready to uh, lay down these uh, fillets, these freshly cut fillets of yellowfin tuna. Let this flesh begin to get seared. Here we go with the first few slices. Rub some of that olive oil and that seasoning and carefully place it in the pan. Just one slice. There's a second slice. Do a few at a time, just a couple. So you can see here now that we got it just for a couple of minutes on one side. We're gonna flip it, flip it good. So we got it flipped over. We want to cook a little bit, sear it on the other side a little bit. Let's put it back over here. Let's 
want these babies, babies to get seared really good. Uh, some people like it pretty raw, rare in the middle. And you can see, you know, if you want it very rare in the middle, you can keep it uh, just like a minute or two on each side. I like it more, I don't like it as rare. I do like it in certain situations, but we can see already I busted it in half. It's ready right there. So I'm gonna take these two pieces off, place them back on the plate here. And now I'm ready for number two. Oh, that pan's getting hot. Look at that, fresh oil. Look at that. Ready to let those babies sear again. Look at how delicious that looks. God wants to put his oil into our lives and burn us as well. And cause us to become fire brands. He wants us to flip us over. Flip us over and get us thoroughly doused with the oil. Thoroughly douse us with the fire. Keep flipping it a little bit if you want to on the side, another side, oil, olive oil is a good thing, it's a good thing in our lives, you can see the inside, see how it's kind of rare in there, some people really like it like that, I may just keep it like that myself. These, these two pieces. Turn that heat off. We don't even need that heat on anymore. Mm. And have ourselves a nice seared tuna dish in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ready to take both of those off. Put them back on the plate. get our salad ready that to the side everything's off so what I'm doing now is gonna slice up some nice onions this one pretty nice blade right here I'm gonna add this to the salad And add whatever you like into your salad. Make sure that knife is pretty sharp. It's like Hebrews 4.12. The word of God is living and active. Sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces even to the division of soul and spirit. Joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You want to be a discerner? Have the word of the Lord packed inside you, like Bobby Cotter says. Pack the, your heart up with the word of God, and you'll be sharp and a discerner. It's that word that discerns. So we got that sliced up. Nice, I'm gonna bring over my, my half and half blend organic salad mix right here. This is a combination of organic baby spinach and a spring mix. Mix that baby up a little bit. And throw them onions in there. Kind of got a little bit too many, but that's all right. More is better than less. We got that in there and mix it around a little bit. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is lay it all out on the plate.
Now what I like to do is take some of the chunks of the tuna, break it apart, lay it on top of the salad. There's quite a bit of tuna here. You don't get like this much when you're going to a restaurant. That's why you do it yourself. If you can. Throw a little bit more onions on there. Now you can actually anoint the salad with some fresh oil again. Just anoint it with oil, just drip it. Let it pour down on top of the salad. Look at that oil. The joy. Mmm. Joy and oil. <laughs> Golden oil. Also, what I like to do as well is I add a little bit of a uh, organic uh, tamari, gluten-free soy sauce. Sprinkle a little of that on top of there. Sprinkle that. Sparingly, however much you like. There we go. We're just going to anoint that as well. This salad, this garden with some soy sauce. There you have it, friends. There you go. Seared tuna salad in Tom's kitchen. Remember, in your dreams, if you're in a kitchen, you're preparing spiritual food. Spiritual food, God's given you spiritual food to prepare, to prepare for others so that you can feed them. And you know, this is the will of God for you. If he's called you to feed people spiritually, he's gonna help enable you to prepare. He's gonna prepare you and also enable you to prepare spiritual food for yourself and for others, primarily for others, so you can feed others of the goodness of God, of that uh, an uh, anointed word, that meat, that, that seasoned meat. That meat from above, that comes down from, from above, that God will enable you to fulfill His will for your life so that you can minister the richness of the Lord and nourish those that He brings into your life. God bless you and thank you for joining me in my kitchen.